I have the straps back in this nice compartment to store them. And then I have this handle where I just press the button. And this is really a breeze to just wheel along on any kind of a surface unless it's sand or gravel. Now here's my tripod. Now I, I'm using the Manfredo and I like it a lot because it has these nice easy clips to use. So I'm just opening up all my clips as you see. I wanted to show you the contents of my backpack. I take turpenoid, which I carry in a plastic bag, just in case, for whatever reason, it might leak. I have my oil, my linseed oil. Carry a camera to help me uh, compose my pictures. Have a little sketchbook. Um, here's my uh, carrying case for my brushes, and I take, I take way too many brushes but I do carry them uh, of course you need your hat for the Sun and I use this little picture-perfect viewfinder it helps me with um, composing my painting oh very important paper towels to clean your brushes I have a box here for my paints um, I carry, oh, let's see, maybe eight or ten paints. I don't know if you can see this. This is the part that's going to attach to the tripod. So when, whenever you're going to buy an easel, make sure you get this pot, other part. Otherwise, you're going to wind up having to screw it into the tripod, which is really a pain. As you can see, I have my open end box in my tripod. But I just want to show you how actually there's a clip on the side of the tripod. Just release. And if I want to put it back in, just put it back in, just like that. Really easy. Uh, I love it because it is that. Okay, it has a lot of screws on the side. Just open it up. Actually, I never had anybody time me how long it takes. Uh, some of my friends have other kind of people. Like Sorry for all the planes. Maybe not the cleanup because I gotta take a little more time cleaning up my space, but I think I'm pretty fit. Then you got these two extra panels which go on the side. And I highly recommend you buy them because if you're working outside, you can use all the space that you can get. Too many street noises too. Okay, so what would I do next? Next, I'd lay out my paints all along here. And actually, what I do sometimes is I just put some paints over here that I seem to use a lot. And I'll put my uh, turpenoid over here. Some people have a J-clip that they attach so the oil can stay over here. This is another painting I did at Planting Field a few weeks ago. And the reason I'm showing you this is I just wanted to show you how a regular size uh, canvas board can fit. And don't think it's only canvas board, you can put canvases in there as well. I have 11 by 14 canvas board. And this is where my uh, tape comes in handy because I have a Raymar carrying case. I think you're getting a general idea of what equipment would be very useful to you if you decided to do plein air painting, which is really great. Hope you enjoyed my video, and I'm going to Vermont painting this weekend.